So, we're going to meet our new pal Dalton. The Foo Fighters and Everlong on the Wolf 553 with your old pal Dolby. You may have seen a post on our Facebook page this morning from Chad and Ballsy. Uh, there's a couple of little dudes here in Regina. They call them Massey Twins, and they are YouTubers. They do vlogs, they do videos, and uh, they interview people. Today, they're interviewing me. They're in the studio right now, and I asked them, since we're in here to do this interview, I uh, asked if they would help me out and set up the Wolf On Demand for next hour. So in one hour, you're gonna hear one of three songs. Tom from the Massey Twins, tell them which three songs are up. George Throw, That's the Bone by George Sorrow Good, and Space Oddity by David Bowie, and Rock You Like a Hurricane by Scorpions. And that's Tom. Bob is the other one in here. Bob, which one do you think is gonna win? Uh, I don't know one, any of them, so. <laughs> yeah, they're a little bit older than you, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if so, you recognize the songs. Whatever one you like, just vote for it. There you go, go vote at thewolfrocks.com or on the Free Wolf app. Now, I know that you guys like these. Bob, tell them what the next song is going to be, that yellow song right there, the one that you said you like. I, I only lie when I love you. It's Royal Blood on the Wolf. This is Dolby the Afternoon Drive host for the Wolf, 104.9. We met him at the Queen City Axe food sampling. He and I share this taste for crickets on our food. So we asked Dolby to appear on our channel to chat about the wolf. He does what he does at the wolf. What inspired you to work in radio? Well, when I was a kid, uh, when I was in grade 10, some friends of mine actually started working at a volunteer radio station. So it's just like this, but way smaller. And it was in a town called Hay River in the Northwest Territories. And they invited me to come down and watch them do their show and to be on their show. And I was like, this is super fun. So I started volunteering, started doing my own show, did that for about three years, and then was like, it would be cool if I could make money doing this. So went to radio school and here we are. What's what's your favorite event that The Wolf has been part of this year? My favorite event every year is always Queen City Rocks. It's our, our like I said, our battle of the bands. Uh, I love live music, I love local music. So when we can get there are so many good bands in, in Regina and in Saskatchewan, because that's the thing, is, is we get bands from Regina and Moose Jaw and Weyburn and North Battleford and all over the place that come here. And why are you considered the loudest man on radio? <laughs> I have been loud, uh, not even necessarily on purpose, but I've been loud since I was a kid, since I was your guys' age. Like, that's every... Funny. Every report card I've ever gotten is, you know, Drew needs to pay more attention and Drew needs to not be so loud. And then I got into a business where I get a microphone and I can be even louder. So, you know, I'm uh, my, my microphone levels are set lower than anybody else's. I, I tend to get a little more feisty on the air than, well, <laughs> Ballsy can get up there too, but. You have done voice work for video games. Are there any we might know? Probably not. No, there was uh, there was a game. I don't even know if it still exists, but it was a game called Worm, and it was like Minecraft. If Minecraft was more 3D and uh, just like super broken, it was uh, not well designed, but it did have some fun things to it. So I. Uh, uh, got a hold of them, they were looking for people to do voicing, and that was actually one of the first times I ever got paid to use my voice for something other than radio. And Which video game do you wish you work on? on? I think he's saying like, which video game do you wish you could work on? I mean, Halo is probably the one. Uh, Halo has, has been my favorite. I, I have two uh, video game franchises that are kind of my favorite and uh, Halo is one because I, I like to play with my wife. My wife and I since we first started dating have played Halo together. Every time a new Halo comes out we, we play through the story like the single player campaign together and it's just I've always thought it had such an amazing story. It has some of my favorite actors like Nathan Fillion and Alan Tudyk doing character voices in there so Halo would be pretty cool. 
Uh, my other like favorite video game franchise is called Romance of the Three Kingdoms, which takes place in like ancient China. And I wouldn't be good at voicing that because I'm not Chinese. And I would probably do a really insulting accent if I tried. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie? Oh man, that's a good one. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that's, that was water bottle flip. That was epic. <laughs> the three keep open and landed on my house. I did not see that. You just, you just got dunked on with a note card. That's tough. Who's the most famous performer you you have met? Um, it, it, you know, there's there's a few that I, I got to fly out to Toronto to interview uh, the bass player, Robert Trujillo from Metallica. That was a pretty big one. I got to meet uh, Rob Halford from Judas Priest. We did an interview on the phone, and then I got to meet him when he played here. Uh, I got to, I've got to meet and work with uh, some pretty big name wrestlers: Brutus the Barber, Beefcake, Mick Foley, Samoa Joe, AJ Styles. So, yeah, depending on you know music or sports or anything like that, I've uh, I've been lucky to meet some pretty cool people. Serena sent us this question. Says we put out a video. To, for questions okay. in the morning, and Serena sent us this following question. What is Dolby's favorite WWE wrestler? Retired, passed away, and new. Oh, okay. Um, so let's start with new on like on TV right now. And, uh, you know, there's, there's so many different uh, places that you can talk about wrestlers. Obviously, the big one is most people know is WWE. Uh, and in WWE, there's some, some great folks right now. Kevin Owens has always been a big favorite of mine. Kevin Steen, back when he was working in ROH. Super funny, super talented. I wish they would do more with him, but the guy's making a super comfortable living, so I'm sure he's not sad. Um, another guy I wish they would do more with is Tyler Breeze, who I actually, I, I used to be Tyler Breeze's manager. Oh, really? Back uh, before he was in WWE, he worked in Edmonton for PWA, Prairie Wrestling Alliance. He was Matthias Wild, and I would go to the I would go to the ring with him and his tag team partner Dandy Dan Myers. Why are you not Why are you not on the PW Eleven Nine page? Uh, because I was a huge pain in the butt for the owner of uh, PWA, a guy by the name of Kurt Sorokin. Uh, and when my time came to be done with the PWA, uh, he punched me in the face and fired me in the middle of the ring. Who are you to wave your finger? <laughs> you must have been out Where did that come from? Head. I remember that picture. Two weeks ago on PWAWrestling.ca, I issued the esteemed open challenge. So far, nobody on the PWA roster is willing to accept it. Maybe you're not willing to take me serious. Maybe you don't want to give me respect. Well, I'm here today to show you that I'm worth respecting in the squared circle. I'm not just the brains of Team Esteem. I'm a champion, too. Oh, my God. That is, that is not good. This was comeback? I don't think so. I don't think so. It was, uh, Team Esteem was really fun. Uh, now time for some yes or no questions. Okay. Um, Bullet Club or Shield? Oh, Bullet Club, only because the Shield is too watered down. Halloween or Christmas? Halloween. Netflix or YouTube? If I had to pick one, I would pick YouTube. Coffee or energy drink? Uh, I would probably say energy drinks only because I've never had a cup of coffee in my entire life. So cat or dog? Dog. Can we call you, can we officially call you our new pal Dolby? Absolutely. You can call me your old pal Dolby. We've been friends since the exhibition. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> our big yeah, pal Dolby. There you go. Perfect. Should we call this episode Papa Roach does Miley Cyrus featuring Dolby and <laughs> I do not get that at all. Uh, I had uh, Jacoby Shaddix from Papa Roach. I interviewed him after he did a show at the Brand Center, and we were downstairs, and we were playing a game that I used to play. I haven't done it in a long time. It's called Songs About, where I will ask a question. It's so not unlike what you guys are doing, but you have to answer using only names of songs. And I, I explained the game to him, and I asked him if he'd be interested in doing it, and he thought it sounded awesome. And I started doing it, and instead of just saying names of songs, he started singing lyrics back to me. 
And uh, I can't remember what the question was, but I think it was something along the lines of, uh, like, what did you think of the crowd in Regina? And he started singing Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus. And I, being a YouTuber, clickbaited the heck out of my video with Papa Roach sings Miley Cyrus. And it got all the views. It's probably the most viewed video on my YouTube channel. So, How many... Lowe's can rob Lowe rob if he rob Lowe can rob Lowe's. See, I don't feel like Rob Lowe could rob a Lowe's because he's way too recognizable. He's got that really handsome jaw and that face. He might be able to charm somebody at Lowe's into letting him rob Lowe's, but I think Rob Lowe probably wouldn't rob a Lowe's. I think I could say this. How many Lowe's can rob Lowe rob if he rob Lowe's? <laughs> how many, how many Lowe's could rob Lowe rob if Rob Lowe could rob Lowe's? Thank you for joining us today. <laughs> Thanks for having me, guys. It's a lot of fun. <laughs>